Hello, welcome to this tutorial brought to you by loopwax.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make an EDM style lead, similar to the one you just heard there. Uh, quite similar to artists like Calvin Harris and Alesso. It's that really versatile super saw sound. And I'll show you how to make that kind of sound and then I'll show you a few variations as well, make it a bit more dirtier. Um, sort of how like Showtech and Martin Garrix would use it. So anyway, uh, this is the sound that we're going to be going for. And we'll start off with a, a fresh version of Silence, because that's the synth we're going to be using today. Normally when you open Silence, it's got a preset loaded. Uh, so I'm going to go to number 4, bank 4, and choose one of the initial patches, so that I've just got a standard saw wave. And we'll start with oscillator A1. I'm going to put the voices up to 8. I'm going to do the same for oscillator A2. I need to change A2's wave to a saw. A1's wave is already a saw, so we can leave that where it is. I'm going to drop the volume down to there. The phase, I'm going to leave that where it is. I'm going to put a bit of detune on there. Because that's what really gives the Super Saw its sound. Stereo down, leave the pan where it is, re-trigger off. So already it's sounding different because we've got that detune in there. And now I'm going to move the octave up for oscillator A2. Volume's going to stay where it is. The phase I'm going to move. Going to detune that about the same as oscillator A1. Stereo going to be about the same as A1 as well. And should have something like that. Then I'm going to click onto part B up here. I'm going to leave the wave on saw, and I'm going to put the voices up to 8 again. This one I'm going to detune a bit more than the others, but not too much. And I'm going to leave the rest of the, the controls the same. I turn the re-trigger off. And then I'll click back onto part A again. I'm going to move the filter over here from A to AB, which means we've got both oscillator and oscillator B both going into filter A. And the way to do that, in case you didn't know, is you hold your mouse over it like that, click and drag to the one you want. And we'll do the same for the filter type. So click, drag to a low pass filter. I'm going to put the cutoff all the way up. Resonance can stay where it is. Give it a little bit of drive. And I want it still on 24 decibels as well. In terms of the filter control, I'm going to leave that where it is, except I'm going to put the warm drive on. So now we should have something like this. So that's getting there. So now I'm going to add some effects. The chorus is probably the most important one for this sound. So I'm going to tick that box. Turn the delay up and the rate up because we want, want the rate to be quite fast. Depth, I'm going to leave that where it is. Feedback, I'm going to put up a tiny little bit. Width, I'm going to move down. And dry wet, I'm going to move down ever so slightly. But this is just my personal preference. I should have something like that now. And then we're going to EQ. Bass frequency, I like to move it a slight, slightly upwards. To maybe about 120 and then drop. Drop that 120 frequency. And then 
that's set at three and a half K at the moment. I want to boost around one K. So I'm going to put that there and put the treble slightly up as well. So that's sounding pretty good. So now I'm going to put the decay all the way up and give it a bit of release and click onto part B and do the same. And then finally, I'm going to add some more reverb. I'm not going to add too much. So there we go, we've got the basic sound now. A few variations that might help you. If you just put the detune up ever so slightly, on both oscillators that is, on A1 and A2, you should get a... You should notice the difference there. It sounds a lot more harsh, and if you put some distortion on it as well, I don't want that much. So we've now got kind of a Alvaro welcome to the jungle sound now. But there we have it, there's the EDM lead.